Hi, Hoops. Uh, welcome back. Um, I don't know where to start, actually. Um, how are you feeling being back in the fray? Thanks, Georgina. Um, how am I feeling? I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to be back. Um, you know, at this stage, um, I'm also realistic, you know, um, uh, knowing that, uh, you know, there's uh, last time I was in here, it didn't quite work out. So, you know, I'm back in this, um, putting myself in this position because I want to be here. Um, you know, I've got great support around me here and I'm realistic that there's going to be some really good days and there's going to be some days that are, you know, the realities of travel and rugby and, and stuff, you know, um, you know, difficult. But I'm, I'm, I think that's part of the whole, um, you know, journey and part of doing what we do is is that whole, um, you know, roller coaster. Can you give us a bit of an insight into um, what happened in Argentina? Uh, I can give you an insight, yeah. I, I've been playing the game for a long time. Um, had some great changes in my life happen this year, um, you know, and I think there was a, a lot of things running through um, my head um, that sort of uh, showed up in Argentina. Um, and I wasn't, Argentina wasn't the place where I needed or was able to sort those things out. And I wanted to be around family. I wanted to, um, you know, be in a, in a place that, um, you know, I could put the time in to those things that I needed to put in. And, and that doesn't mean that I'm sitting here now, um, you know, completely cured. And these, you know, it's it's not like not like that at all. It's just at that point in time, I, uh, I needed to be somewhere else. And that wasn't Argentina. I know that's quite vague, but um, yeah, um, still getting my head around, you know, it's not that long ago. And, um, you know, but uh, I'm feeling in a place now where I'm, I'm keen to be here. Hey, Hoops, is homesickness a word we can potentially use as part of all this, these challenges? Oh, it's an element. <laughs> it's an element yeah. of it for sure. But, you know, like with, um, you know, that's always been a factor for me um, and I can speak personally. It's a factor for a lot of players and, and staff as well. We travel a lot, um, you know, and that's part of the oh, amazing things about what we do. But it's tough. You know, we it's um, it's... Uh, it's difficult at times and that's great, you know, and it's recognizing that that is okay. And that's part of the, you know, the human experience to, to, you know, want to be somewhere else, but, you know, duty calls for you to be in a, in a certain place. And, um, yeah, certainly an element. What about your, uh, the physical rigors of all the travel and the, you know, such a combative game, is that an element as well? Like how your body needed a rest? Uh, my, my body was pretty good. My body was pretty good. It was more my mindset. Like I mean, we said, like I said, at the at the time, it was more the mindset. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm at the point in my career where any given any extra weeks of, of rest are, uh, are helpful. But uh, you know, I want to play and I want to be in good condition. But most importantly, I want to be the best I can be for the team. And I wasn't in in that state of mind there to be able to do that. And that's what made. Um, you know, it was a difficult decision, but uh, also quite a straightforward decision in the sense that, you know, I wasn't right. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, what it, history is history. What happened, happened. Hey, Michael. Um, uh, congratulations. Um, and welcome back. Um, had that decision, had you been tossing that up for a while or was it very much like a, it, it came about suddenly? Oh, it it came around suddenly. Um, like I said, there was uh, probably exasperated being over overseas, overseas, you know, away from home and stuff like that. But uh, certainly, um, you know, with the where I'm at in in my career and uh, things like that, you start to to look at other, you know, post rugby. Start to look at, you know, I've got a family now. Um, so there's a lot more elements than being a 22 year old, you know, um, pretty much what concerned about yourself. Um, and, you know, I, I think that played into, played into it. Um, you know, and, and as you asked, uh, had it been going on for a while? Yeah, I think it's, and, and, and that's only natural, only natural that, um, you know, as a, as an athlete and, you know, as a rugby player, there's going to be a transition point. Um, in my career um, and in all, all of our careers. So, 
you know, thinking about that's certainly a factor. And Michael, when you decided to take a break, were you always planning to come back or was that something that you wanted to um, sort of deal with through a process before you made a decision on returning to the game? Uh, exactly. Um, I uh, Initially from getting home, I started as... Um, you know, as you do as a, you know, athlete or anyone, you start putting in a plan to get back. And that didn't quite work for me. Um, initially, I, you know, I said, I want to be back by this time. Um, you know, our, if you can imagine, our lives are so regimented by games and tournaments and um, the next thing that comes up. So it's really easy to put a plan in. And my life's been dictated a lot by schedule. Um, and okay, there's this tournament coming up or we've got the Bledisloe here or, you know, three game series there or spring tour there. Um, and putting that, um, not pressure on myself, but um, uh, that expectation on myself that I would be right by a certain point didn't work. So what I had to sort of strip back a little bit and say, okay, well, uh, and look, I, I'll preface this by saying, um, you know, uh, <laughs> and Marty's not, not holding a gun to my head here, but um, RA were extremely supportive on, um, you know, that, my decision when you know they called and you know would ask and check in firstly with how i was um physically and mentally um it was all about how i'm doing and with no pressure on how that looked um in coming back and that gave me um you know a really nice a bit of comfort to be able to go okay well i can i've got the support here to be able to um you know, take the time and, and do what I needed to do. So from that, I guess I, I stripped back and said, okay, like I can, I can now sort of um, move away from having a schedule, which is also uncomfortable because like I said, I'm quite used to it um, and, and just put in some things in place to, to um, I guess, get myself back in, um, you know, the position to be here, which, you know, we're here now and you don't know what it's going to look like, but, um, you know, we're getting back in and being uncomfortable and that's good. Was there any can one I ask about the lure? Sorry, Jules, you go. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry Tony. Um, was there one, any one particular lure, uh, Michael, and in particular, is the World Cup um, something that's um, that played a part in it? I want to get back and play rugby and enjoy my time on the field. Um, yeah, I mean, those those experiences are amazing to be a part of, but I'm also realistic. You can get injured like going into a World Cup year and miss it. Um, you know, that's the, that's, I mean, you look at like Matty Phillip, like we're elite, we're flying out and the, the guy gets injured on the way out. Like you, you have no control over some of these things. And, um, I guess I've tried to control a, a lot of how it would look, you know, um, uh, for myself, which is part of, you know, things that led to, you know, the situation I was in is, it's trying to put undue control on things and, um, you know, the, the World Cup's certainly a, a great cherry, but, um, you know, why I play, I, I love competing, um, you know, I love being a part of this team. Um, and that's, that's, you know, it's not a forever thing. Um, and, you know, I'd watch the games and there were some things I missed about being in the environment um, and they were about competing. You know, I missed, I missed watching the games and being out there and being with the team and representing and that stuff. And, um, you know, so that was the law to get back and to, you know, try and realise my potential in the game. Michael, around the captaincy, um, so Dave Rennie was suggesting that it was kind of the coach's decision, um, but James Slipper, I think, was saying that you would kind of make the call. Can you kind of clarify how the decisions come about to come back, but not as captain? And, and please, maybe... Uh, if you have any thoughts about captaincy in the future, whether we might see you as World Cup captain or what your kind of stance on captaincy is now. Uh, what's my stance on captaincy? Well, for, first and foremost, right now, uh, it is of complete support of Slips. Um, you know, he supported me for a long time and he was, um, you know, an amazing person um, throughout my whole captaincy. Um, so, you know, he's got my utmost support and however he needs. And, and, and what he's said to me is he wants me to come back and enjoy my rugby and compete. And he understands that, you know, what's good for the team is um, me going well, um, men, you know, first and foremost, mentally and physically. But secondly, you know, if I can be in a good space with those two things, then I'm, I'm probably going to be playing pretty good rugby and he's happy with that. 
Um, in terms of coming to the decision, it was, um, again, you know, I, I mentioned some calls that I'd had between staff and, and myself throughout those times. And, you know, there were, look, we fleshed out these things and there was no, you know, um, uh, I guess sort of agendas from, you know, anyone or it's, this is very much a fluid moving thing. Um, and, you know, um, the decision just felt quite natural in the end um, to get on this tour and to not have the level of responsibility that um, potentially had previously um, and to be able to focus on, you know, myself and those aspects I talk about, uh, talked about earlier and, and what Slips is, is wanting to see from me. Um, and then I guess you've, you've asked about going forward. Um, you know, I, I think where what I've, I've, what I've learned and what I mentioned earlier is, you know, that's a long way away. And, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, this, this tour and this tour for me selfishly is, is getting back on the park and earning my way back into the team and, you know, um, getting to a good, good standard of football. And then, you know, on, on the team, team side of things, it's, um, I do have a good amount, a wealth of experience in, in this um, outfit. And, you know, I want to be able to, you know, pass that on um, to, to younger players and, and also in assistance to the guys um, like Slips and Alan and, um, you know, all those, all, and, you know, and Dave and, and the coaching staff too. Last couple, please. Can I ask, um, can, can I ask if you've had help with, um, you know, moving through the issues that you've had and whether that's been from family, friends, professional help, what kind of levels of help have you received for, for the mindset issues? All types, Tony, all types. <laughs> um, I... Uh, as a younger man, um, I had viewed asking for help as, a, you know, a, I guess a bit of a, you know, a bit of weakness and certainly, um, you know, that's the way I viewed it. Um, you know, like I, I think you, you want to feel like you have it all worked out um, and, you know, I certainly didn't. Um, and, you know, I guess the beautiful thing about rugby and, and also the, the hard thing about sport is there's all, I like, talk about these goals, there's always you know, the next goal. So you can move on and you can move on quick and you can, you know, um, all that sort of stuff. So in terms of the help you, you ask about, I mean, my wife um, is amazing throughout this period. Uh, I'm very lucky and, and grateful for the support she's given me. Um, my parents, um, you know, family and friends. And then, you know, I'm also, uh, you know, lucky uh, in the sense that, um, you know, I'm in a time where I think, um, I was quite supported as well from, you know, not only the employers, but also the wider public as well um, around this decision. And, and that, you know, we, we're in a time where um, that stuff is, is um, you know, I guess is heard more, more and more. So, you know, that was great. Um, yep, professional help, sports, uh, sports therapists and, um, you know, uh, reading a hell of a lot of books and, and stuff like that. So it's been a, it's actually, you know, I'll, I'll look back on this period and, you know, I'm going through it. It's part of life, you know, it's, it's part of being human, all this stuff. And, um, you know, as, as a great time in my life, you know, and it's, I'm lucky to have that support. Last one, please, guys. Hoops, can I just take you back to the time you went to, um, Dave and first asked him about this, was it hard? for you to to have that start that conversation that you weren't quite as well as you wanted to be oh yeah it's hard i mean i've got high expectations for myself um and pulling out of a a game and you know is certainly right up there with something i couldn't have seen myself doing um so of course it was hard